Hi, my name is Olivia. Hello, I'm Andrew. So Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about what you do for work? The first part of my career was at a magazine called The Believer. This is what a green screen looks like. The video team for the Tradeswind project interviewed Andrew Leland, who is visually impaired. Andrew is an author and a journalist. Olivia and Victoria, who both visually are both visually impaired, led the video team. Victoria has an interest in becoming a filmmaker, while Olivia is interested in becoming a therapist. In this project, Olivia and Victoria explored the six career categories. Olivia and Victoria met with me, Cameron Adibi, to research people who are visually impaired and have film and counseling careers. First step was creating a storyboard with different shots they would like to capture during production. In film, there is pre-production, production, and post-production. Here, Victoria is capturing B-roll with Andrew's help. With realistic careers, a person has good skills working with tools, mechanical drawings, or machines. Olivia and Victoria had two primary challenges. One, they had to finish this project in about six weeks, and two, they had to be creative with the resources available to them. With the interview with Matthew Schifrin, they had to create a studio in a meeting room at a public library. This is a good skill to learn how to be adaptive. In social careers, it is also good to be able to dissect information and solve problems. Matthew, who is an, an inventor, provided background information in his process to become an entrepreneur. Filmmakers require enterprising skills to sell their ideas and to get funding for their film projects. Olivia and Victoria, who are both very creative, have good artistic abilities in creative writing, drama, crafts, music, and art. In conventional careers, it is good to work with written records and numbers in a systematic way. Finally, Olivia and Victoria worked with a graphic designer to create a logo for Tradeswind. This required giving feedback to the designer. The first draft had a cane for visual people. It took multiple versions until we had a logo that represented our project. Thank you.